Hello everybody, Model Farmer 6710 back here with another video and in today's video as you can see by the thumbnail and title we're doing up a John Deere 6920S by Siku and uh, yeah this is a very underrated model a lot of people have it but um, yeah it's it's a phenomenal model actually it just needs a couple of tweaks and what I'm I have two of them and I'm going to be putting a loader on one and I'm just going to be leaving one just plain enough but I have new, I have new tyres I have a loader to go on one of them I have um, a bit of paint work to do on it. I have just uh, just a lot of other stuff like weights and beacons. Just uh, and there's doors that I'm gonna put on them as well. As you can see, um, if you a lot of you that already know that doors don't come on the Siku 6920S John Deere. So we're gonna be putting new doors on, and it'll be showing you how to do it all. And you even might be able to try it out for yourselves. So um, yeah, and I just want to give credit to uh, Richard O'Sullivan. Got inspired by him to do. This. This, so thanks Richard and yeah so I'm gonna do this now so guys as you can see I have my two John Deere's here and I'll just show you the tractors uh, first of all they're a very nice tractor I got these for 25 euro each and uh, they come with a lovely A-frame on the front here. I'll be taking this off and replacing it with a weight. And um, it comes in with it comes with foldable mares so you're able to fold in the mares and you're able to bring them back out and um, and yeah, the model is very detailed itself. The lights are very detailed on the front. Uh, lovely stickers, everything on it. The wheels are actually pretty nice. It's just, I, I want to put on maybe um, uh, different wheels. And the back linkage, it's not the worst. Uh, it's just the standard Siku one. And as you can see with the cab here, uh, as you can see, it has no uh, uh, doors on it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today as well. I'll be putting new uh, doors on and everything. So let's get into it. Um, but yeah, I have two of them, and also I have a John Deere loader of uh, a, a wicking John Deere 125R. If you just want to do this with the loader, I got this loader off a uh, John Deere 125R by wicking. Um, you can pick them up anywhere, um, the tractor anywhere, but you can't get the loader separately. But I just took the loader off with two screws uh, just down here, uh, off the uh, 125R. And yeah, I gonna be just uh, sitting this onto the John Deere as it's a very nice it's just a nicer loader there is a there, there is a um a Siku 6920s that you can get with a loader but uh it's not as detailed but this one's very detailed and yeah so we're gonna go for realism here right guys here we have the John Deere and just before we start guys I just want to apologize for the camera quality and my quality uh my my good phone is broken at the minute so I'm on my the my first phone that I ever got so I apologize uh, if the camera quality and sound quality isn't the best right guys so here we have the <laughs> John Deere 6920s and what I'm going to be doing is now and um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to uh, just going to fold back in the mirrors uh, which is very easy and I'm going to just pop off the cab so the cab's able to pop off very easy like that oh and <laughs> don't let it drop <laughs> and uh, yeah this is the cab so this is where we're going to be putting in the glass and stuff but for the minute um, I'm just going to take the screws out underneath so at the minute we have just uh, a John Deere with no cab um, but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip it upside down. And as you can see, we have two two screws. And all I'm going to have to do is just... I've already loosened them a bit just so I can just not waste uh, time on the on screwing them. But yeah, it, it's just very easy. Just um, take them out real nicely. This one, oh, the top one needs a bit of loosening. Right, that should do it. Oh, <laughs> apologies now. Right, now, now we have it off. Yeah, so now we're left with uh, an underplate. Keep that, mind the screws as well. Uh, there should be two screws with that. And we're easily just able to take off the front axle, the back wheels, and as you can see, this fell off and this is what we wanted to take off. It's just, um, I'm gonna be putting a weight there, um, uh, and then the one with uh, with the loader, I'm going to be uh, just putting a, a weight carrier there. 
But yeah, for the minute, you can just leave everything as it is. Um, and yeah, uh, so we're just going to um, get ready to put the glass in the cab. Right, guys, um, I have the cab here. And what I got is I got a little um, piece of plastic here. And I just marked out uh, what I needed for to fit the window. Uh, and all I have to do now is I just have to cut it. Um, as you can see, it's just that little bit of, bit of stuff there. But yeah, I just have to cut out. I You can get clear glass, clear plastic. It's just see-through plastic I got off a plastic box. Uh, and yeah, I just marked it out. And yeah, um, so yeah, I'm going to cut this out now. And uh, be careful when using the scissors, guys. Uh but yeah, you 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 pretty much know how to cut that out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So guys, I've cut it out there and I just put it in. But as you can see, it's just like a millimeter short, and you want to have it correct. So I'm gonna have to redo it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it, that's pretty much how you do it. And I'll just uh, redo mine, and I'll make uh, I'll make them all for uh, the two sides. Right guys, as you can see, I have my four uh, doors um, cut out for the cabs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my super glue and uh, we're going to fit them in. And I'll show you how to fit in uh, one one of the doors. So it's fairly straightforward. Um, but yeah, let's do it. So guys, I have my cab here. I have my cab here and I have my bit of glue. Uh, not too much, but just enough. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so we're just gonna slide it in. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Uh, a dab of glue along that uh bar, and then I have my piece of glass in. We look this side, and it does add a lot to the thing and you can see it you, you can see the glass and well it's not that you can see it well just put it this way that you can you can see it without the glass but right now now it just blends in and it looks very nice so let's do that again Um we just better check this one fits lovely so yeah guys it, it doesn't take take that long to like you know cut out everything and you know it, it's it's not a big effort so um once you once you can have uh yeah once you have them cut out it's fairly straightforward but uh yeah this one seems okay so we're gonna go ahead with this one and I'll be back in a minute I'm not gonna touch it just I'm just gonna let the cab dry guys but uh well I'll just pick it up see what uh, yeah I have the two things into glass in the cab there the two uh panes of glass but yeah it's just a bit of plastic that I got off a, car, a, a plastic box so yeah uh, I'm gonna put these two uh, these uh, doors on off camera but yeah I'll be back to you in a second right guys uh, I have the cab all done and now we're moving on to the wheels so I got these wheels off Artisan 32 uh, if you look it up on Google there's the logo there uh, yeah, I, I got these wheels, the front set was 15, and I believe this was around 20, could have been 25. Wheels are expensive. Um, yeah, if you want the right ones, if you want the realistic ones, they are expensive. But at the end of the day, it is worth it when your model is looking very nice. And here we have the back set of wheels for the John Deere that they come with. And then here's comparison. So, they're a small bit taller, but as you can see, they're a lot wider, and they're a lot more realistic uh, tires, even the alloy, like, um, yeah, like, that. that's not too realistic, and it even comes with a hub cap, so you can, uh, when you have it on the uh, axle and stuff, you can just throw, it, throw a hub cap over that, but with this one, you know, you can see the metal bit there. Uh, the, for the front ones, uh, I've taken the tires off. Uh, the front ones, but um, uh, they are they're a bit similar. They're just uh, they're um, they're a bit wider and uh, they're roughly around the same size uh, with the tire on them. Uh, what I have to do now is I have to take off these um, 
with these rims and we're gonna throw these on. Uh yeah, so I'm gonna have a look. How can I I'm gonna have a look how can I do this? Uh and then I'll show you how I, I can do it. Right guys, as you can see I have the wheels on and yeah it was a very simple task. Um <clears throat> I it was very easy actually. Uh all I had to do was I just had to rip the front wheels off and I was just I able to unscrew the two screws under here and I was able to take off the back ones but uh yeah I, I, I threw them on. It was a very simple task. The wheels don't uh, spin as I just had to hold them on and I didn't want them to fall off. But uh, I'm very, very happy how it turned out. Um, as you can see, I have this bit here. I am thinking of putting a loader on this one, but I'm not sure. I think I'll just... Uh, um, I have this weight here. I have to spray paint it green. I, I tried to put just poster paint on it, but it didn't work. Um, I have to spray paint it green, and I'll be throwing it there. But... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do now, but uh, I also have to add a beacon to it, but the wheels uh, fit on 100%, uh, I have no issues with it at all, and <clears throat> as I was saying, I got them for Artisan 32, and uh, I'll just get up the wheels for you in the catalogue if I can find them. Right guys, I've found the wheels in the catalogue here, and these are them. So, uh, that's the light uh, yellow there, but you're able to get a, the actual John Deere yellow, as you can see there. I didn't have to paint the wheels at all, uh, the selection came with it. The front ones, I believe, were €15, Euro, and they were 47mm um, uh, high, and then they're 20mm wide, I'd say. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's them. If you want to take a closer look, just that, uh, just this one here, and then I'll grab the, I'll grab the back ones, which are these. So yeah, guys, uh, the, I, I, if you look up uh, Artisan Thirty Two, you should be able to find these wheels. And uh, I just thought they're very fitting; they work very well. And I also got the weight off Artisan Thirty Two, and. Yeah, I, th I believe the back ones might have been 25 or so, and the front ones were 15, but it was well worth it. And uh, we had the glass and window here, but everything worked out for the uh, whole part at the minute. Let's get it finished off. Right, guys, as you can see, it's fully complete. I added wheels, a weight, um, a weight bracket there at the front, you can just see. Uh, doors and yeah it was a fun project it was a very fun project and um, probably the uh, um, the most fun I ever had uh, building um, uh, well con uh, doing a conversion and stuff uh, yeah it was a bit of fun and you probably are wondering uh, where is the other one gone I sold the other one to Stephen uh, as Stephen uh, said, oh, he'd like to make a 6420 out of one. And I said, look, I, I can make one and you can make the, another. So I started off with two and I'm finishing with one. <laughs> but I'm very, very happy how this one turned out. And Stephen will be showing his 6420 soon enough. He done a lot more to his than my, that I don't mind. But yeah, guys, thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.